When it comes to football, you've got your fans. And then you've got super fans. Woo! It's gonna get nasty, baby! Can't wait to see you! Let's wrap up that Reynolds rap! Woo! Keith Kunzig is a Tampa Bay Buccaneers diehard, but on game day, Keith goes by another name. Big nasty. <laughs> 35 years, man, it's uh, never gone away. Or the, you know, the, the like, they they get lazy and they'll just say nasty. Nasty himself has become a fan favorite, an unofficial Bucks mascot, posing for pictures on his way into the stadium. Well, I would say hour to hour, 45 minutes, you know, and when we're winning. So it, it's fun. It's humbling. But I'm also getting older. Across the country, some younger fans were born with Broncos fandom right there in their names. My oldest is Braxton. He just turned 11. Um, he's named after Tyrone Braxton. His name's Marshall Vaughn, so he's named after Brandon Marshall and Vaughn Miller. And Miley, and her name is spelled M-I-L. E-I-G-H, so if you take away the first H, her name spells mile high. Danielle Persley's home is a testament to her team, outside and inside. And then I've got, you know, the team photos. Random cups from the games, because why not? Why wouldn't you save those? We have a orange-blue Christmas tree that I don't take down. I just move upstairs in December. Down in Dallas, Mark Shenfield wears his love for the Cowboys on his sleeve and on his back. Hence the nickname Tattoo Mark. Back in Tampa, Keith is gearing up for his last season as Big Nasty, putting on the face paint. About an hour takes, I get wet wipes. I can get it off in 15 minutes. Sometimes you forget you have it on. <laughs> I'll be driving and I'm like, what the hell are you looking at? But all that paint and years of Bucks losses are worth it. But it, it's very humbling to see, you know, fans come up when they were little and now they're adults. <laughs> you know, I get a lot of that now, so. And then they got babies, so it's really neat to see that. And neat that they got to see a Super Bowl win just mm -hmm. a year ago. As for which team has the biggest overall fan base, according to Statista, that would be the Cowboys, followed by the Patriots and the Steelers. But, Rhiannon, I think the New York football Giants would like a word. The Green Bay Packers would like a word. The Kansas City the Chiefs, Kansas City Chiefs. Would like a word. Let's give some love to some of these other super fans. We had Big Nasty on there. Uh, I mentioned X Factor. You mentioned Fireman Ed mm -hmm. from the Jets. What about Captain Defense, the Baltimore Ravens? We've got okay. uh, Big Papa Pump. That's Miami. I've never heard of him. I, I, I have I not heard but of him But here, this one may all. take the cake. Chicago Bears' Glenn Timmerman has 140 Bears players' autographs tattooed on his body. <laughs> That's a super fan. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.